This video is gonna be a little bit more of a rant or a ramble because honestly, I didn't come up with a topic to talk about this morning. And I regret, I regret that, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Uh, I guess I wanna talk about this notebook that my wife bought me as an early birthday present. It's like a little pocket notebook. And I used to carry one of these often, and I actually used it often. I would write down anything that came to my mind, whether it was directions to get to a friend's house or, uh, you know, people's names, really anything. I wrote down tons of stuff when I was using my notebook before, and I don't know why, because I probably used maybe two or three of these, uh, and I quit using them after I got married, and I don't really know why. Uh, and the reason my wife bought this for me is because she remembered that I always used to carry one of these around. And she was like, hey, uh, I think that you, you really liked using these notebooks and you just stopped for some reason. And I wanna get you one as a early birthday present. And she did. And I've written it a handful of times, a couple of times, but I think that there's something to, there's something magical about physically writing in on paper that you don't get from a digital medium. And I can't explain what that is. And I kind of feel like it transcends like your personality type and uh, whether you actually like writing or not. I think that there's something about the way that you interact, your brain interacts with the piece of paper that is different than any other type of, of uh, writing technology. And I know that there's tons of different note-taking apps and, uh, you know, things like that, but there's so much freedom in a notebook because you can write in it, right? But you can also draw and illustrate and, you know, kind of draw maps and diagrams of different things. And there's a lot of freedom in that. And that's something that I think is a little bit lacking in a digital type of notebook, even though you can, uh, you can take like an Apple pencil and use an iPad, but it's not the same experience. Like right now, as I'm driving, I could whip this open right here. I'm sitting at a traffic light and I could write or draw any kind of note that I want. And that's, that's crazy, right? Like, with a note-taking app, you, you could literally get pulled over and given a, a traffic ticket for using your phone on the road. And that's, like with a notebook, you could, you don't have to worry about any of that because it's just a notebook. Um, I was watching another guy talk about his experience with notebooks and he was talking about how one of the big draws of using a small notebook like that is that you don't need, or it, it's not going to distract you. So like if you pick up your phone, like I, and I've experienced this myself, I go to take a note on something and uh, like before I even really have the phone unlocked, I'm like, wait a second, what was I doing? What was I about to write? Because there's like all these little icons that are distracting me from my mission, which is to take a note. And that's, that's problematic. I don't know. This is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video, and I don't really know how it pertains to web development per se, but it's, uh, 
it's something that I, I mean, like I said, I didn't plan this video very well this morning. I actually don't really plan too many of my videos <laughs> so far. I'm just, most of it is just rambling and talking. But I am learning that I need to kind of structure these a little bit more. And maybe that is the perfect tool for the job, the little notebook. I can write down my ideas in here, which I plan to as they come up and maybe structure the content a little better so that when I'm talking, I will have a little bit more of a point to what it is that my thoughts are. So, yeah. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos because I know that this one was not <laughs> terribly great. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'm curious what you think about these kinds of topics. I mostly uh, talk about web development, so that's, uh, that's kind of what my channel is going to be sort of focused on. Um, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, subscribe. And if you like this video, I will check you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh,